Well, welcome to a keto grocery haul where I'm going to talk about the keto diet. The keto diet that has been the diet to have transformed my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight with intermittent fasting in a combination of keto. I started getting serious weight loss gains when I did a keto diet throughout the day. Then I got to my lowest weight of 169 pounds thanks to Keto OMAD. Keto diet just works well for me, probably because of all of the metabolic damage I have from non-alcoholic fatty liver. I had issues with my thyroid and pancreas. I just find success with the keto diet. And it makes sense because when you think about it from a metabolic standpoint, point, in order to produce ketones, you need to make your body have that switch to burning fat. So ketones cannot be produced unless your body is in fat burning mode. And it's a powerful diet in that you are able to get your body to switch to fat burning mode with food. And it does it with ease. Now you can do it with other diets, of course. If you eat carbs, your body's gonna, you know, tend to wanna retain it unless you're eating fiber. That's a whole lot. I just think keto is the easiest thing to do because not only with you being in fat burning mode and you're getting results, it crushes your hunger. It gives you lots of energy. So if you're someone like me who works out at the gym, it gives you energy for the gym. Obviously it's not gonna be the same amount of energy that you get when you eat carbohydrates, but I digress. Let's talk about what is the proper keto diet. Keto has been destroyed. The proper keto diet, although you will get success with other versions of the diet, but the proper keto diet is eating 80% of your calories from fat. So this can be plus or minus 5%, at least minimum 80%. So if you get to like, when I was losing weight with Keto Omad, I got to like 77, 78, sometimes 75, but it was always between a 75% to an 80% range. And then you want to have your protein 20% of your calories. So I'll throw out a number. 100 grams of protein or less is a good number. And then your carbs are non-existent. So when I was successful with keto, my carbs were always, and when I say carbs, net carbs, we don't count fiber on the keto diet, but my carbs were at 30 grams or less. I knew I was successful when I was in that 20 gram to 30 gram range. Now you don't want to go too low. I experimented with an extreme version of the keto diet known as the carnivore diet. You can check out that video here and that didn't do me any justice. <laughs> the problem with the carnivore diet, it just literally took out all of my energy. So I'm not a fan of carnivore. Like you can do carnivore if you're not as active as I am, but I'm active and keto allows me to lose weight and be active. I can't be a couch potato, okay? That's how you end up being morbidly obese. <laughs> you need to move your body. It's key. The human body was designed to move. Anyway, I hope I clarified that. I just want to make sure I went over that. Oh, and when you're testing your ketones, you can use the ketone strips, but make sure they're brand new because those strips expire. When they expire, you don't get accurate results or the most accurate way, blood ketone way test. But if you've done the keto diet a number of times, you'll notice you're in ketosis based on signs. And right now, I think I might be in a minor version of ketosis because I'm very thirsty. And not only that, I go to the bathroom a lot. So we're, we're getting back onto it. But anyway, here is my grocery haul. No, is there something else I want to mention? Oh, yes, there is. Before we get to the grocery haul. Fastest way to get into ketosis is fasting. You hit ketosis at around, I think it's around... 17 hours of fasting, but if you have been not metabolically healthy, do an extended fast. Anywhere between 48 to 72 hours will put you into ketosis depending on the person. The more sugar you have to burn and the more stored sugar your body has to get to, the longer the fast. So this is someone who's literally just starting their weight loss journey. For me, a good even 36 hours will put me into ketosis. Anyway, let's do my keto grocery haul. All right, my keto grocery haul. Costco's where I'm gonna be shopping from now on. I got some carbonate bread at Costco. I'm so grateful for that. I go to Costco at the Sushina. That's like the best Costco, I think. I'm not gonna go to any inner city Costco, but it's nice to live on the west side of the city. But here you go. I love carbonate bread. Look at that fiber. I'm not concerned with my fiber count when I'm on keto. More fiber, the merrier. But then, 
staple on the keto diet, oh, I forgot to get pickles, that's a staple, is some avocados. Avocados are key. Avocados have lots of minerals, lots of electrolytes, has potassium, which is key when you're on the keto diet. Because when you're on the keto diet, you will go to the bathroom a lot. And when you're going to the bathroom a lot, and when I say bathroom, I mean you're urinating a lot, you are going to end up extruding your electrolytes. So the best way to find one electrolytes is with food. So yeah, this is loaded with potassium and fat, not to mention. Another staple on the keto diet, pork. Pork is probably my favorite land meat. Prosciutto is amazing. So I got some prosciutto. Another thing I forgot to mention. One important thing that I forgot to mention about a proper keto diet. It's going to be filled with fiber, preferably not from these, but from these. Fiber. Like the keto diet isn't just eating meats and cheese and fried food and crap. No, it's a healthy whole food diet. Do I call, dare I call this whole food keto? Not really, because you know, these are not whole foods, but you want to eat clean foods. It should be like, you know, maybe a plate of some eggs with some chopped up peppers and some spinach. It should look like that. A keto diet shouldn't just look like junk food, fast food. Hello, why are you doing that? Do you know that they cook those foods in seafood oils or seafood oils? That's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say canola oils, vegetable oils. That's not the proper keto diet. People won't lose weight on that dirty keto crap. Or if they do, they look like crap. Like, no, <laughs> you want clean food because the clean food will help your body, you know, deal with the elasticity when you lose the weight, keep the collagen, right? Looking, getting you looking tight. I know when I do a clean keto diet, I look tight, gets rid of my cellulite and the whole lot. So. It is so important to eat your vegetables on a keto diet, no matter what diet I do. The key is hashtag stuff your face with vegetables, please. And keto fruits, keto fruits you can have. I did a video on it, but you can have raspberries. Blueberries, you have to limit, but you can have those. You can have blackberries, but raspberries are probably your best keto fruit because they're so high in fiber. Anyway, back to the haul. Now, when it comes to cheese, it's a hit and miss. Some people can handle cheese. Some people can't, that's fair. Cheese, I'm fine with. Now, if you're going to eat cheese on a keto diet, you want to go with aged cheddar. Um, I think that's the best way to go, or aged cheese. These aren't aged, but these are pretty good, and they don't bother me. They're natural. No artificial flavors or colors. And they're Canadian. And I think Canada has the best food in the world in terms of sources. Yeah, this is literally just cheese. Pasteurized milk, bacterial culture, salt, bacterial enzyme, calcium chloride, which is a salt, I believe. Potassium chloride, yep. Sodium, yeah, yeah, it's a salt and spices and seasonings. Look at that. Look at that. Cheese. Next, keto dog treat. Anyone who puts their dog on a vegetarian diet, you're abusing it. I saw this video of a woman. She's like, oh, my husky loves eating like vegetables. So the person like puts out two plates, one meat, one vegetables. The dog went for the vegetables. Unbelievable. Anyway, I mean, sorry, the dog went for the meat. So it's unbelievable that someone would feed their dog like, that's animal abuse. But anyway, these are some beef treats for both. Next, I got these uh, keto tortillas, these Orwell keto tortillas. These are loaded with fiber. Again, I swear the nutrition facts keep changing with this thing. Um, I don't care about my fiber count. When I'm eating carbs, yeah, but I will go unlimited fiber. All know my favorite, favorite vegetable is edamame on the keto diet. It's how I lost the weight, lots of edamame. Now, keto meat. Now, plain keto meat, I don't have it here because I forgot to get it, but this is one of them. Pork is key. Pork is awesome. Another one is bacon. Now, if you can't eat pork, you can have lamb. You can have fatty cuts of beef. That helps. So, yes. Now, this isn't the most ideal keto meat because it is high in protein. But again, if your protein is a little high, higher than 20%, don't fret. You'll still lose weight. I say ther therapeutic keto is for those who are really struggling with weight loss or who have conditions that they need to heal. But I got chicken thighs because my personal trainer is probably going to want me to continue eating between 154 grams of protein, which puts me right over, but it's okay. I'm not fretting, but the goal is to cut up carbs right now. So yeah, that's my mini grocery haul.
So rules for a proper keto diet. Number one, you're eating tons of vegetables, vegetables that are high in fiber. Number two, you can eat fruit. Fruit isn't bad as long as it's high in fiber. Fruit like raspberries. Raspberries is probably the only fruit I would recommend. I do have a video talking about that. Number three, you want to aim for high fat. Number four, you want to keep your protein low because if you eat too much protein, you'll kick you out of ketosis. But it's not a big deal. You'll still get results on the scale. But if you're struggling, bring that protein down. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little grocery haul. If you made it this far in the video, just type in the word liver because liver is where ketones are produced. And I'm sending you mad loud. Take care. Bye.